Let a nigga try me, try me. I'm gonna get his whole motherfucker. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Damon Campbell with HotNewHipHop.com here at Collective Studios in Detroit with a very special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm over rolling. You already know, man. So now I'm Dej Low. You already know, man. We going crazy out here. IBGM. Foes up. What's up? Absolutely. Great to see you again. Great Definitely appreciate you, your time. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, now, I couldn't help but notice you making a couple uh, noodle references in Try Me with the macaroni and the pasta. Oh, yeah. And uh, I found those kind of fitting, actually, because, like, wasn't there some sort of fettuccine song that you used to sing growing up? Fettuccine? What song are you talking about? Uh, I was hoping that you could fill us in on that, like like when you guys would eat fettuccine at home or something. Oh, we actually did have a song. I don't, how did you know about that? I just try to come prepared. I swear to God, my mom, that's my favorite dish that she makes. I swear. Do you remember like how the song went? We used to just say like fettuccine. Fettuccine, fetta, fetta, fettuccine. It's so funny. I don't know where you get that from, but I swear me and my brother used to sing that. That was the extent of it, though? Yeah, man. Okay. And uh, I suppose Parmesan would be the most appropriate topping for that. Uh, however, I understand when you were younger, it was wise of you to uh, keep your distance from cheese, or at least a girl named Cheesy. Dog, this is so fucking funny, dog. I swear to God. When I stayed on like um in, on the North End, I think it was a girl named Cheesy. Oh my God, you weird. <laughs> like who was that exactly? Like she was like this girl. I don't know. I'm not. I don't want to say like she was. She was like a little. I don't know. I can do that. It's like she was like that. Like I don't know. She was kind of scary. Oh, okay. And you found uh, Chuck E. Cheese to be pretty intimidating as well. No, I was never scared of Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, okay. I don't think I was. Well, uh, your manager's name is Chuck, uh, better known as Detroit Charlie. Uh, but he's not the first, though, right? Because, like, for example, there was a Mr. Charlie fruit and vegetable truck that used to make its rounds in the D. Yeah, the blue uh, truck. Is that what it was? Yeah, Mr. Charlie. Would you ever get anything from it yourself? Definitely. He had the fruit snacks. He had Capri Suns. And then I barely got fruit off of there. It's like I got the junk food part of it. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Shout out to Mr. Charlie. How did that work? Was it, like... Just like an ice cream truck, but with Yeah, he would come around in the neighborhood. We stayed in, like, the projects. And so he would come around the one the one way, and everybody would just stop him and get stuff off of the truck. Oh, okay. My uncle and him actually used to steal stuff off of there. It's so oh, funny. Okay. <laughs> Not to snitch on him, but yeah. it's, it's, it's an old story, but it's funny. But didn't you, and you would have to get, like, a lot of stuff from the gas station as well, like, with yeah. the five-finger discount? Yeah, not me, but yeah, I know some people that I was always scared to steal out of stores. So. But like that was like like when you were little, like that was kind of like sometimes your only source of food to a certain yeah, extent. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to my cousin, rest in peace to Portia, like and my brother. They used to definitely. So that was our way of eating sometimes in the morning. Yeah. When we stayed on the north end, it was like me and a ton of my cousins, and we used to um be on the north end. And we used to just wake up, and they used to go get all type of stuff. Oh. <laughs> With their hands and their jackets and, <laughs> yeah. and just come in, just uh, yeah. feeding the whole family. Oh, okay. So, yeah, shout out to them. Yeah, absolutely. Rest in peace. Yeah. And um, not to gas you up or anything, but I have heard of uh, certain labels showing interest, perhaps uh, ready to offer you in advance. Uh, mm -hmm. However, I understand uh, Miss Wilkins was far less keen on you having an advance back in the Ms. day. Miss Williams, yeah. W was it Miss Williams? Yeah. That was one of my third grade teachers third and fourth grade teacher but like didn't didn't one of your teachers like take like your game boy advance from you or something like that yeah oh i know how you know this stuff. <laughs> that's funny yeah miss wilkins she took my game boy advance oh, okay and then like i tried to get it back from her without her permission i had got it out the drawer she was just holding on to it i'm like I'm, i want my stuff i got it for my birthday and she just had it in the drawer and i was like yo where's my stuff so i went <laughs> in there and got it and she tried to like spank me in front of the class really yeah it was like overdid it i was just standing there like you know why would you hit me yeah but my mom actually gave her permission to hit me and i'm like never give <laughs> never, parents never give the teacher permission to hit your kids yeah I, I mean, it wouldn't go like that now, nowadays yeah. kids don't really play like that. no yeah <laughs> yeah it'd be a different story so. <laughs> absolutely but back then it was like go ahead hit her but crazy yeah but Miss Williams must have been really bad then for you to dedicate an entire song to her. Yeah, like we didn't really get along that well. 
No, she was um. Yeah, they kind of go. Yeah, she was like, she was just hard on me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I had a bad attitude at the time. Like my attitude was kind of poor. Oh, okay. And um, she was just like beyond me. You know those teachers that just bother you. And just, yeah. I don't know. I just felt like she didn't like me. And I really didn't like her. Do you think the song's gotten back to her at all? Cause you were going pretty hard on her. <laughs> like she must have really mean, pissed you off. <laughs> I, I kind of made the song in reference to like. I think everybody can relate to yeah. those type of teachers, so it's Absolutely. not just like her. But hopefully she didn't hear that. I, I didn't mean <laughs> no harm by it. I was just yeah. telling a story. like Just venting? Yeah, you know. Yeah. So. Uh, and speaking of pushing your buttons, I understand Sugar T from The Click was somewhat significant for you? Who? Sugar T, uh, E-40's sister? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she definitely, like, when I first heard her on that, um, who was she singing? Was it the Sprinkle Me song? Yeah, that was like one of the first time I heard like a woman rap. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that was like inspired and I was like, wow. It was sweet. How about uh Lady T from here in Detroit? Weren't you at like a Def Jam competition that she had won a while back? Yeah, I remember that. I didn't I didn't win. He was kinda of looking at me like uh well it was LA Reed's people too, huh? So oh funny. was it? He was at Def Jam at the time. Okay. So yeah. You did you participate in it at all or like what was yeah, it? Yeah, it was like an audition, they they said that's why I never really you know, like it was an audition. Okay. That's why now today I won't, I don't like like auditions and things because it's like you get, you do those type of things for an opinion. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's like I knew I was good then and I still know I'm good now. So it's like you, I paid them to perform in front of them. It was like, All right. You know, it's not really, you know. Yeah. You pay, I pay for an opinion. Well, I don't think you'll have to be doing that for uh, very much longer. But um, thank you so much for your time. It was great chatting with you. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Best wishes with everything coming your way. Is there anything else you want to say to the people out there watching? Um, try me. Dej Loaf. Abby Jim. Shout out my whole team, man. Oberol and said Ain't Tone. A-Dub, DJ Limelight, Detroit Charlie Joy. Everybody, man. DDS, who produced Try Me. Don, what's up? Everybody, man, we about to go crazy. It's more to it than try me, so. Hell yeah. There you have it. Once again, I'm Damon Campbell, and this is Dej Loaf. Thanks for watching. Snitching is not awesome. They need to know that. Snitching is not awesome. Snitching is not awesome. A tattletale is a rattletale is a rat. But I switched it up a little bit on this album. There's a couple records where I didn't do double time. And, um, you know, just to show versatility, you know, and, and, and break up the monotony. But... You know, they wonder what's August I'll see the ideal girl. I don't have an ideal girl. It's just when it come across, it just come across. Like right, you, you, know. you know what that.